and the wider economy. The Australian crew of a petrol tanker have anchored their ship in Port Phillip Bay and are refusing to leave amid fears they're being replaced by foreign, foreign workers. The 18 sailors on board the Tandara Spirit have been defying the captain's orders for the past fortnight. As Ashlyn McGee reports, the industrial dispute has prompted wider concerns about fuel security and environmental hazards. It's a stalemate on Port Phillip Bay. The Tandara Spirit has been anchored here for the past 16 days, with the crew refusing to sail since being delivered this message. Well, they've been told that there's no further requirement for them or their ship. Take it back to Singapore, uh, lay it up and uh, you'll be made redundant. For the past six years, they've been transporting fuel from the Geelong refinery to ports around Australia. Now they fear Viva Energy has replaced them with foreign crewed ships like the e-ship Sama, raided by international inspectors today. They're on basically about $2 an hour for their hard work. Viva Energy wasn't available for interview, but issued a statement saying its Victorian exports have declined and it no longer needs a dedicated tanker. That smoke and mirrors, and there's another ship with a foreign crew taking it. Viva Energy has confirmed it has contracted the Vietnamese flagged Vina Lines Galaxy to transport fuel from the refinery. Some of the uh, workers at uh, the refinery actually uh, made comment that the ship wasn't very safe. The Maritime Safety Authority has issued a defect notices in the past and that has environmentalists concerned about the increased risk of oil and fuel spills. We know from research that once in the water oil or fuel can have a significant damage on the marine environment and our very special conservation areas in Port Phillip or Western Port Bay. The industrial dispute playing out on Port Phillip Bay is part of a larger national debate about our fuel security. The union says about 91% of our fuel is imported, leaving us vulnerable to global economic fluctuations and conflicts. It's currently the subject of a parliamentary inquiry. Ashlyn McGee, ABC News.